What is going on guys? Welcome back to the beacon. Nintendo just announced the new Switch Pro model, so we're going to react to the trailer, we're going to break down all the specs, and see what is new about this Switch compared to the regular Switch. So if you're new here, welcome to the beacon, and let me know down in the comments how you feel about the new model, and if you plan on picking one up when they come out on October 8th. So the first thing we're going to do is react to the trailer, and I saw that Joe from Serebii actually tweeted out all the information this morning, and I was like, how does he know about the new Switch? And I'm like, oh, because Nintendo just announced it on their Twitter. <laughs> so guys, let's let's see the new trailer, and let's react to it, and see what this has to offer right now. Um, I'm on the, the UK website, because I feel like the UK website has a better layout than the American website for whatever reason. I don't know why that is, but <laughs> let's do this thing, man. I'm so excited. Ooh, my headphones came unplugged. Okay, so they're basically just calling it the OLED model and not the Switch Pro, which is why I put the parentheses around Switch Pro. That might have been a new kickstand. That might have been a new kickstand. I don't know. But that's definitely a bigger screen. And those new Void Joy-Cons are really sick. <laughs> I love this song so much. Yeah, that's, it, it, it looks bigger and that looks like a new kickstand. I love Nintendo trailers, man. Yo, it's Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl! Weasel! I did not expect us to get more footage of BDSP. The song is really good. <laughs> they have a lot of the information on the website that we can go over right when this trailer ends, but I almost don't want this to end. Oh, that looks so good. And they have better speakers, too. I wonder how much better it actually is, though. Is that a new chess game, or is that like one we already have on the Switch right now? I wonder if the new... Okay, that, that's a new dock, too. It looks like a new dock. And they have a LAN adapter on the new dock. That's interesting. Because I have, like, a dongle for my Switch dock, which lets me play with the LAN connection. But if you bump that thing, it will just disconnect you from the internet. And it's really, really not great. That feature alone makes me happy they included that. But like, the Joy-Cons are the same. Is that like, a new ring fit? No. That's not a new ring fit, is it? We can go higher than we've been before. Okay, they, they showed Smash Ultimate. All right, available October 8th, Nintendo Switch OLED model. All right, so if we so we see there, I don't, it looks like they're not gonna be discontinuing the old model. So you have the light, you have the Switch, and you have the Switch OLED, which is interesting. I, I honestly, by this trailer, I can't see there being any exclusive games for this new Switch because it doesn't even look like they're talking about it having that much more power or any more power. So it says we have, okay, we have the OLED, we have the OLED display with vivid colors. Um, it's now seven inches, where I think the regular Switch was like six and a half. And there was no talk of this upscaling to 4K at all. So the Switch OLED includes a vibrant seven inch OLED screen with a slimmer bezel. The largest, the, the larger screen's vivid colors and high contrast deliver a rich handheld and tabletop gaming experience, bringing games to life, whether you're racing at top speed or squaring off against enemies. Um... I, I, we, yeah, I'm not going to go into what an OLED screen is, but, like, that, that new kickstand is such a good feature. And I did they say anything about having, like, a higher internal storage for the memory, too? Okay, enjoy tabletop mode at your preferred viewing angle. Flip out the stand and have a hand of controller to another player to share the screen and enjoy competitive or cooperative multiplayer anytime, anywhere. The Switch OLED model's wide adjustable stand can be set to your preferred viewing angle for comfortable gameplay and tabletop mode. That's cool. I wonder if that right there is like the SD card slot too, it looks like. Just having the the switches, the kickstand be at any um, height you want will be kind of a cool feature. I do like that. But man, I, I'm so... I don't think I'm going to get a new Switch at this point by this trailer, but that 
that LAN adapter built in the dock is such a cool feature because, like I said, my dongle just sucks and it it, it keeps it always wants to dis- disconnect. Yes, we have sixty four gigabytes of internal storage, which is I was hoping for a hundred. That's kind of a letdown, man. I I don't know. I mean, it's more than the than the than the regular switch, which is fair, but. So we have onboard speakers with enhanced audio as well with this thing. But I, I play my Switch dock so much that like I don't think a lot of these features are going to matter to me that much because I, I hardly ever play handheld. I also wonder if the battery is going to be worse with the new screen or not. Okay, Nintendo Switch features, three three play modes. Um, yeah, we, we already know this. TV mode, tabletop mode, and handheld mode. And then Nintendo Switch has a controller on each side of the controller that function, or the console, that function together. The Joy-Con, hold them vertically, horizontally, or share one with a friend. It'd be hilarious if they went on and talked about, like, the drift feature. I don't know. I'm going to go on a limb here and say the back of the new Switch looks kind of ugly. But it's probably because I'm not used to it. But I do like the back of the old model kind of better. All right, here we go. Release date is going to be August 10th, 2021. And they also have new boxes too, if you look at that. They're more, they're more vertical and not horizontal, which I kind of I kind of like that look. That is cool. And those new white Joy-Cons look really slick as well as the... I'm kind of glad they kept the neon blue and neon red Joy-Cons to, you know, because those, those are pretty like iconic for the Switch. All right, so we have... The back of the Switch has the adjustable stand, the micro SD card slot, the Type C USB connector, the rail. Uh, is that a is that a brightness sensor? Does my Switch have a brightness sensor on it? No, it doesn't. So that brightness sensor must be for the OLED screen. It must be like auto brightness. Um, that new kickstand is really nice. I will say it, it is a it is a cool touch. And then the front has. I don't think any changes, but the, the, there is a new power button and obviously the new seven inch screen and the new speakers too. So, uh, can all the switch titles be played on Nintendo switch OLED model? So the switch OLED model is compatible with the full library of switch games. However, there may be differences in game experience with some of the toy con accessories from the, the Labo series due to differences in console and screen size between switch and the OLED model and the regular switch. There may also be games where the game experience may differ due to the new capabilities of the console, such as the larger screen size. And then it says, can the Switch with LAN also be used with the regular Switch? Uh, yes, the dock can be used, including a LAN port. Can you just, maybe you could buy like uh, just the new dock then. Can the Switch dock be used with the new OLED model? The old dock? Yes, this is possible. Please note a system update may be required. And then it's saying the Joy-Cons are also obviously just, wow. I, I, don't, I know the price point is going to be available here. So the price point is going to be $349.99, which is 50 more than the regular Switch. Uh, I, I don't know if I see many people upgrading. If there's, the, the, well, I don't even think they're really releasing this for people to upgrade, but they're kind of releasing this for people just to get like a better screen if they want one for the newer games. But for people like me that just play docked, I don't know if I see much of a use for the new Switch at the end of the day. I don't know. That's a toss up. <laughs> but guys, we're going to wrap it up right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to leave me a comment down below, let me know how you feel about the new Switch and I will respond to every comment posted. I'm a, I'm a little bit bummed at like some of the stuff that they announced, which is probably why they waited for a while to even release this because the hype for this got insane. There was so much hype for the Switch, but um, I love you guys. I appreciate all of you so much. Thank you for all the support for this channel and I'll talk to you guys really soon. So much love, Beacon fam. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about this.